and then we'll tell it uh, perpendicular. Okay, so that's 0.3536, and then I'll measure down here. And again, tell it perpendicular. That's 0.3536. And so that lets me know that all three of these lines are, in fact, parallel, and they should be. Okay. And DIM ANG is another command that you could use uh, between the two lines. And it'll say down here at the bottom lines are parallel. Check the other side. And it says lines are parallel. Okay. So I, I know that, that what I ended up doing is okay. <clears throat> and again, I'm apologize for the error. Okay, so we're done with that face. Let me change everything back to blue, or yellow, sorry. And we'll get these as well. Alright, so let's turn our construction layer off take a look. All right, it's looking pretty good. I'll tell you what I'd like to know is probably what this side looks like. I think that would be helpful. Okay, so let's work on that next. Turn our construction layer back on. And um, we have lines already snapped to all the points of interest on that view. Okay, and I'll tell you what, this is getting kind of, kind of busy and probably hard to see. Let me uh, highlight everything change the draw order and send everything to the back and see if uh, see if that makes it a little a little easier to read draw order send to back okay that did help a good bit okay so <clears throat> uh, I really um, if I turn the construction layer back off you know these top planes here are kind of defining what that side is going to look like. What I don't know is what this part is going to look like. So I think that's what I want to figure out next. What happens when it leaves this plane and goes down in that channel? Okay, so I really just want to find out that point there. Okay, so I will um, turn off my construction one layer, turn back on my construction two, and I will work on this. I will start off at that point and find out how far it goes down. Okay, so I need to uh, copy these, uh, copy the lines to this point down at the bottom of the channel. And I'll make those blue. Okay, and I think just so I won't lose track of where I am, I'll, I'll make the whole channel blue. Okay. And that would be these lines here in this view. Okay. Notice this the second and third line from the back. So second and third line from the back. I'll make blue here. And just trim off that little extra and extend the line there. Okay. So when I'll, I will start off at this uh, point here. Okay. <clears throat> um, and if you go way back here, this this is that point that you see in that view, and uh, this point is directly behind that one in this view. Okay, so from here it goes down. Okay, and you can see that here it goes from from this point down to the bottom, and that is on the second blue line from the back. So I'll just follow this up to the second blue line from the back, which is right here. Alright. And then uh, once it gets to the bottom of the channel, it drag drags across, okay, to this line. Alright. And that is on the first blue line from the back. Okay. So we'll just follow this line now it's on the left side of the two that are close together. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And this is the first line from the back. First blue line, excuse me. So it'll be right there. Okay. And then from there it goes up to our point we found earlier. Okay. So I can just find the, uh, find that point. 
and that's what that uh, that it does in the channel there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let me turn my construction layer off. All right, and that's kind of starting to take shape now. All right, and uh, why don't we go ahead and try to get the 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 bottom and the back of that. Okay. We'll turn everything back to yellow. Okay. And um, we'll try to get the bottom and the back of the object now. So <clears throat> what we need to do is to copy this line down, okay, to here, and here, and I'm going to go ahead and make those blue, tell you what, let's just, for now, let's just go with those two lines, okay, and <clears throat> this point, um, this goes down to the bottom of the hidden line, which is directly below this point. Okay, so let me let me turn that line blue. Okay, and actually. Let me erase. Let me erase that line, and instead, let's find out where this line goes uh, up. Okay, it goes from here all the way up to the corner. Okay, so this is actually the line that I want. Okay, so I'm gonna just turn that line blue. Okay. So from the this point on the object, which we can tell is at this uh, lower elevation, okay, and we already found that point in our auxiliary view, okay, it goes down, okay, we can see it going down here, all right, to the blue line, okay, and it's all the way back on the reference plane, okay, it's directly below that point, so it's all the way back on the reference plane. So that's where we can end that line. So from there, uh, it goes all the way across to the front of the object. Okay, yeah, so it goes um, to here. All right, and uh, let me change that to blue. All right. And we already have that line, so it'll be the one, two, three, four, five. It'll be one, two, three, four, five. So let me turn that line blue there. All right, so now we found our intersection point. So I can just pick it up here at that line and then all the way to the intersection point of the two blue lines right there, okay? So that's what that, that uh, plane looks like. Oops, let me turn that construction layer off, okay? looks a lot more believable now. It looks more like a, like kind of maybe what you would expect. Now, <clears throat> from this point on, um, we may have a combination of visible and hidden lines or just hidden lines. Uh, so, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I say combination here in just a minute. Uh, i tell you what I can do, and just because I know that the object is uh, symmetrical, okay, or uh, I shouldn't say symmetrical, um, let me show you what I'm talking about and then I can explain it a little better. This channel stays the same width and depth all the way across. So what I can do is I can actually copy that channel, okay, the edge of the channel, and bring it down here, all right, and I can snap it on, all right. Now this will maintain uh, a visible line until it reaches that point and then it will be hidden, okay. So let me use the break command. I'll break it here and then let me extend it back to that line. Alright, now this is visible, this will be hidden. 